Hey guys, Rainbowtastic, back with some more Evelyn 2. Let's get through the second warp day. Let's try being a maid. Sure. I hope none of that was important, because I just skipped right through it. I'm assuming that it's this big, fancy place that I found one of the children's in. <laughs> Uh, uh, lady in red dress? <coughs> ah, there you are, finally. You've barely begun, and you stop blinking so much. And already you're behind on your work. And what in heaven's name is that you're wearing? A flagrant abuse of aesthetic sense. Start by putting this on. No way. What? What the heck is this get up? Don't you dare speak to me with that tone. You accepted the position, didn't you? Then do as you're told. It's your uniform. If it's not to your liking, you know where the door is. Oh, you were just begging for a slapping. I see that you've come to your senses. Now go serve my dear husband his tea. Hunt. Hey, jackass. Oh, I would have loved a cup of tea, but there's none left. Be a dear and go fetch some at Miss Raza's shop, would you? Where's that at? Here, you can keep the change. Okay. Whatever. So... Shop? Shop! Hi, lady. Whiskey? Hell yeah! Love whiskey. Drink responsibly. I will not. Okay, now I'm gonna get the tea. He did tell me to keep the chain, so I'm gonna get some whiskey. Gotta get through this workday somehow. 25 gold. Hell yes. Sweet. I'm sleepy, guys. I'm sleepy. Thank you for the tea, huh? You have some whiskey, too. No, you can't take my whiskey! Just don't say a word to my Don't take my whiskey! He's asleep. Fucker took my whiskey! <sighs> my husband has fallen asleep. Very good, my dear. You have done well. He took my whiskey, by the way. Now, on to more serious matters. Why don't. Why do you think I need you? Um. What are you on about? I shouldn't be surprised. You do seem to be quite simple minded. You're a bitch. You don't even know that the primary task of a maid is to spread gossip. Should be obvious. I can feel my inner white girl coming out. But let's move on to the task at hand. <laughs> Rumor mongers are claiming that the game Be a Millionaire, which my husband has won several times, is rigged. We must quash these rumors quickly. Naturally, the best way to do so is to spread a counter rumor. This is terrible advice, lady. We must make haste. Every minute counts. Go spread the rumor in the city immediately. Your reward will depend on how many people you convince. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. <sighs> this is awful advice. Oh, 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 hello. I forgot about you. 
efforts have finally paid off. Here, a gift I've held onto for a long time for you. Uh. Uh. Ew! I guess you can't tell her. Oh man, not through this again, I'm sorry! <sighs> I'm gonna talk to you. I know where to go. I'm gonna go to this this place right here. You know what? I think it actually is rigged. <clears throat> like she's just a cunt. Not a nice lady. So, I think that's everyone. Ow. That hurt. It hurt a lot. Yeah, I think that's everybody. I hope this is enough money, because I really don't want a waitress. I really don't want to do it. Being a waitress is awful. Here, lady. 25 people. Well, that's something. Here's your reward. Yes! I can stop doing this crap. Bye, Felicia! Oh, is it already night? What a day. It's about time I headed back to the inn. Okay, I guess we're gonna go to sleep now. You be staying? Yes, yes, I will be staying. Because I have enough money to get out of this shithole. So, did you hit? Yeah, I got it. Congratulations, looks like you worked hard. I suppose you want to get going as soon as possible, right? Here, take this key. You can use it to leave through the sewers. No need to thank me. Your financial contrib. Contribution is plenty, thanks enough. We made it. We're finally getting out of the city. Thank you, Miss CBG. Thanks to you, I shall see my son again, and perhaps there is still time to save my people. Don't mention it, Blindma. It's natural to help one another when you share the same fate. The same fate? We demons do not believe in fate, only in free will. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. It was just a figure of speech. There's no harm done. I regret getting carried away. Uh, Rainbow, I think it's time you take the lead in our little expedition. Let's go. Wait. Here, take this. A little keepsake for me. With thanks from the house. completely useless. Thank you for a piece of paper that means nothing. I'm gonna be glad to leave this place. And I'm going 
back into the sewers. Yay! Money! Rats. Oh, I got all of my money back. Take that, you prick! Oh, I'm out of the city. Yes! Free at last! So, Rainbow, what do we do now? Mm. I think we should look for a Magilith. Of course. That's it. It's an excellent idea. I don't exactly... I don't know exactly how we ended up here, but it's somehow connected to the Magilith. If we find one, maybe then we can go home. Ah, we need to hurry. My father's going to worry. Although, come to think of it, if the Magilith does allow us to time travel, he's not even born yet. So if we go back to before we left... Thinking in four dimensions hurts my brain. I do not quite grasp your conundrum, but if, but if it is a Magilith you seek, you will find one north of my father's encampment. Really? You hear that, Rainbow? That's our ticket home! We'll go with you, Blindma. I mean, if you don't mind. The pleasure is mine, Miss CBG. However, I do not know whether we shall reach my father's camp unharmed. If the rumors are, be are to be believed, Mayan Bridge was taken by the Empire. But perhaps we can cross it. Let us head north. We shall decide once we get there. Your strength will be of great use, Super Morio. <laughs> Off we go. So... Uh -huh. Well, guys, unfortunately, that is all the time I have for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!